Hey YouTube, it's Budget Bug Out. Well, looks like I've lost my way. I dropped my trail map a few miles that way, and I'm not sure where I am right now. But fortunately, got my bug out bag with me, and I'm gonna use these items to help me find civilization. And I'll also be leaving links for all these items in the description box down below for your convenience. Whew. A little out of breath, so let me sit down, show you what I got. Stay tuned. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see that I have a water bottle right on the outside of the pack. The reason for that is because um, your survival kit, you're not just gonna put on a survival kit for no reason. Uh, this is also a day pack. So whenever I go out into the woods and walk around and enjoy, enjoy the great outdoors, uh, I wanna be able to uh, do that comfortably. And that's the reason that I have water with me. Um, I also have additional ways of purifying water and I'll get to that later. Um, and then on this side of the pack, you can see this pack is so strong that it's destroying the wood. We got some gloves. Uh, make sure you have a pair of gloves, that way you don't uh, come across uh, a situation where you have your hands cut and things like that, uh, which will make life difficult as well as potentially life-threatening if, you know, if it's cut deep enough, etc., etc. Um, I also have this little uh, boonie hat, and uh, the reason for that is you can put this uh, down over your eyes real, real low. Um, and that will uh, protect you against branches that you walk past or walk through accidentally, uh, those type of things, as well as just keeping the sun off you know, the back of your neck and off your face. So let's go ahead and uh, pull out the items that are inside this pocket right here. You can see that I have some in in insect repellent. My wife was just telling me as I was walking out the door today uh, to put some insect repellent on. Uh, we have a little first aid kit and I'll dive into this in one second. A uh, pair of scissors that have glow in the dark handles hand sanitizer, uh, antiseptic kit, and uh, this little bag. This is to kind of help waterproof. We got some gloves and some butterfly band-aids and some gauze. So, and he here's the first aid kit. And it's not like a trauma kit or anything like that, but I will be uploading a video of my trauma kit uh, very soon. So we have alcohol prep pads, some bigger band-aids. Um, we also have, let's see, you can zoom in on this. We got Neosporin, allergy medicine, anti-diarrheal because you don't want to lose additional water because it, let's say you drink some, some, some bad water um, you don't want to uh, lose more water basically um, if, if you develop di diarrhea um, chapstick q-tips pair of tweezers we got some more band-aids and we have iodine tablets to purify water as well as cotton balls um, which can also serve as an additional uh, source of tinder for fires and real quick, right on the top, I have this little LED, little clip-on light from Countycom. Okay, so here's what I have accessible to me as I'm kind of walking around. So there's this little uh, little fanny pack type of pocket right here, and. Uh, what I can use this for is this, as I go, I can just grab little twigs and other uh, small little pieces of tinder and just kind of put them in, in there. Um, you, know, it, 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 you can put them in your pocket as well just to kind of help them dry out. Um, but this is, this is just sort of a, a quick little pouch here. Um, I also have just, uh, several cliff bars and um, Yes, cliff bars are not necessarily the most important thing to have when you're in a survival situation, but this bag is set up so that I can have it on me while I'm already outdoors, and then if something happens, I can stay outdoors longer. So the cliff bars, uh, as well as the little uh, water container back there, uh, water bottle, um, that's just sort of a, a day hiking uh, type of setup and then the survival stuff is on the inside. I also have a whistle right here that I can easily access if I see someone that I need to get their, their attention. <whistles> Works pretty well. And as far as defensive capabilities, um, yes, I always make sure that I'm concealed carrying or carrying knives on me, that kind of thing. But I also have uh, this little pepper spray as a non-lethal option just to kind of keep people away from me or, or wild animals, that kind of thing. Um, so that's everything that I have accessible to me as I'm walking around with the bag on. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So uh, I went ahead and already opened it. Um, right off the bat, you can see that I have a compass. 
I also have a simulated map. When it comes to survival or bugging out, it isn't just about um, how long can you last in the environment, it's also about being found or finding your way out of the situation. So we also have a sewing kit. Remember, whenever you're in the environment, things like what you're wearing is also part of your shelter system. So keep that in mind. A headlamp, this is by 4.7. This is the Atom 360 headlamp previously reviewed. Uh, check out my video. We also have uh, this Olight. This is the S10 Baton, and I'll be doing a review on this uh, pretty soon. I've made sure that a lot of these items use the same type of battery. And uh, since I already said that, I'm just gonna show you guys what I have in the small pocket right here. I have extra batteries. So these batteries are what's known as CR123A batteries, and these are a type of um, flashlight battery, uh, more, more powerful than like a double AA, A, triple A. Also in this little pocket, I have some duct tape. And duct tape fixes everything, including survival situations sometimes. Big lighter, you don't need to rethink the wheel when it comes to fire. Just grab a, a, a big lighter as one of your ways of starting a fire. Um, and I'll show you guys what I, what I use this for. But this is the Openel number six, I believe. Um, and this is a, a ferro rod or ferrocium rod. Um, you can use these in combination with each other. You can use the, the spine on the open L uh, number six in order to uh, create a, a shower of sparks. You guys can check out my top 10 multi-tool video uh, to see more about this, but this is the Leatherman Juice S2. It's good to have a multi-tool in uh, survival situations. They come in very handy. I also have a spare button compass as well as a way to charge my cell phone. Um, Having a cell phone, that's usually the first thing that you're going to grab when you're in an emergency situation. Let's say your car breaks down and you're, you don't have any battery. Your, your car battery is dead. Well, you can use this in order to charge your phone so you can call the people you need to call if your phone is, is dying or dead. Um, this is powered by a CR123A battery, which is what I have right there. So that's everything I have in that little pocket right here. Uh, if you guys are curious about the type of backpack I use, I just I found this for two dollars at a thrift store. So yes, this is an Osprey bag. They don't longer make this day pack, but uh, just any old regular day pack, as long as it's good quality, uh, a company that makes it is, is what you need. Now I don't have this in the, the sheath yet. The sheath is on its way, so be sure to check out my top ten survival knife videos for uh, for the sheath because I'll be doing that video soon. But this is the SC6. This is one of the best survival knives on the market. So down here I got some moleskin. A moleskin is great if you're uh, developing a blisters like in the back of your heels or whatever. If, if you're, for your shoes rubbing against you. Um, either bad shoes or just shoes from long periods of time can cause that kind of stuff. So moleskin is very good to have in those kind of situations. I also have a Bear Grylls orange poncho. Um, here's a mylar blanket. Keeps you warm. Reflects uh, 80 or 90 percent of the heat back. Also just have uh, <laughs> just some underwear uh, as well as um, some socks. Once again what you wear is part of your shelter system. Orange bandana once again orange so that you can kind of signal uh, people for help uh, as well as filter water as well as first aid situations. Um, having orange bandana is is very good. There's lots of YouTube videos that show all the different uses when it comes of of, of, uh, of bandanas. I'll be doing a video of this shortly, but this is basically my Altoid Survival Tin 3.0. It has uh, paracord around it. It also has uh, more shelter system, water pur purification methods. It has an SC Azula fixed blade knife as well as a multitude of things inside here like snares, fishing kits, uh, those type of things. I also have, this is just some toilet paper, that if, you know, obviously use it for its intended purpose as well as just use it for Tinder if you like. This is the uh, K-Bar Dozer, um, very, very inexpensive. Once again, orange, easy to find. Uh, here we have an SOL, which means survive outdoor longer, bivy, emergency bivy. This is sort of like a little mini sleeping bag. 
here's some fire tinder and, and check out pine fire if you're not familiar with them in here we have all the different sizes that you need to construct a fire uh, including uh, fat wood which uh, enables the fire to last even longer it's, it's basically self-sustaining here we have three chem lights we also have some uh, a solo stove in here so this is the solo stove constructed uh, basically you put the tinder and other wood that you've processed right down there and then you continue to feed it through this opening and then you put the uh, metal container uh, right on the top and it will all the uh, all of the heat will be transferred into this pot and then it will boil uh, and therefore purifying the water that you've gotten um, inside of the little nooks and crannies of the solo stove also have just some uh, some matches some waterproof matches a uh, pencil sharpener with two sizes this is great because you can take branches and just just like a pencil uh, twist them right inside there and create little shavings which is a great tinder also have another Bic lighter as well as cotton balls wrapped in orange duct tape um, both the duct tape and cotton balls are very flammable so these are my little inexpensive lightweight fuel taps on the bottom of the pack i've got some extra uh, water just in case i'm having difficulty uh, finding water to purify not as important as water but something that you're still going to need is i got some emergency food bars uh, now remember a food will also dehydrate you so make sure that you have water before you start munching down also have this little MRE uh, wheat bread with <laughs> chocolate peanut spread and cheese spread with bacon. So a little, just a little morale boost as well as some hand warmers. So that's everything that I have on the inside of the bag. Well guys, it looks like I made it. There's some train tracks behind me and uh, shortly a train should either be coming down those tracks or I'll be able to use the train tracks to find civilization. Uh, thank you for coming with me on this journey. If you have questions about my bug out bag or my survival kit system, uh, please let me know down in the comment section below or if you have tips or things that you guys incorporate in your survival kits, um, please let me know those. Um, also be sure to check out the links in the description box down below. I li I've listed them uh, there for your convenience. If you click on the Amazon links, uh, that helps support the channel. And um, the more support that I get, the more cool things that I'm able to uh, do for you guys. So uh, I appreciate everything that you guys do, uh, watching the videos, as well as uh, clicking on those links so you guys can buy awesome products and support me at the same time. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Y'all stay safe out there, and remember, it pays to be prepared. God bless.